Hi, this is Jill Jensen. This is my third year to participate in the Artisan Studio Tour. The first two years, I was a guest in a studio up in Charlottesville. But since we're virtual this year, I wanted to give you a tour of my home studio. It's located in the basement of my house in Lynchburg. And this is one end of our basement where I have all of my painting and printmaking supplies. So I have racks full of equipment. This is my small etching press. And as you come around the corner, you can see a small table that I do some design work on, some carving. I have projects laid out on it this time. This back wall is a design wall where I'll hang prints that need to be dried before they can be painted, or else other works that are in progress. I have a cart where on the top level I have fabric paints and below are all my printmaking supplies, brayers, inks, etc. I have a four foot by eight foot table in the center of the room and I've got various supplies on it to show you. For example, this big plate on the back is 23 inches by 60 inches. It's a woodcut plate that I carved to print during Big Ink at Riverview's Art Space. Here on the end, I have two different types of printing plates. One is wood, and the other one is linoleum. Next to it, I have some carving tools. They're either a U-shape or a V-shape, and that's how I carve grooves into the surface. I try to keep my space somewhat neat when I'm carving, so I have a brush and a little tray to try to keep all the shavings in. I save all of my printing plates, so I have a lot of drawers full of carved printing plates. This drawer only has things that are related to plant material. In order to print a plate, I use an inking tray, a brayer, which is a roller, and then oil-based printing ink. If I'm printing by hand, I use a wooden spoon to rub the back of the fabric or paper, or else, if the plate is the right size for one of my presses, I will run it through the etching press. Here is a plate and a print on painted fabric. So in this room I will carve plates, print plates, generally on white fabric, and then I will paint the fabric before taking it to my the rest of my studio where I do my sewing. Over here I have more storage where I keep paper, uncarved plates, and other supplies. These two little drawer systems are completely full of carved plates. And as you come around, you'll see more fabric paints that I use to change my white fabric into various colors. And then more rolls of paper and supplies. This is my storage closet. Uh, finished work is rolled on pool noodles to store. And then I have a lot of other supplies saved and categorized in boxes. So this is the end of the studio where I do all of my painting and inking of printing plates. We come out into my family room and you'll see my large printing press. I was very excited to buy this. The press bed is 27 inches by 60 inches long. My husband wanted to know where we were going to put it in the house and I told him it was going to live in the family room with me. So here is a little table that was in my grandparents' house. It was their breakfast table. And I use it for my daily drawing, for designing and carving small printing plates. So it's a very convenient location. If I'm doing hand sewing, I'll sit on the sofa and relax while I do the sewing. And then at the other end of the family room, we come to the sewing part of my studio. On this back wall is another design wall where I will hang works in progress where I'll work on designing, i.e. figuring out what pieces of fabric should go next to each other. It also has my ironing board in front of it. When you look over on this side of the room, this is how I store all my threads and my painted fabrics. So I will paint large pieces of fabric and store them by color so that when I'm ready to work on a new piece of art, I have some pre-painted fabrics available. This table I use to lay work out and cut it to size before stitching it. Around here I have storage. Then you see the design wall again. This rack with lots of things hanging on it. I sometimes make my clothes. So these are patterns that I've cut out. And then around on this side I have two home sewing machines. 
They're just regular sewing machines, but it's what I do all of my sewing on for both clothes and for all of my artwork. And I use this, this regular size machine to sew anything from very small pieces, like what you can see on the shelf, like four inches by four inches, all the way up to um, six feet by four foot pieces of work. So I hope that you have enjoyed the tour of my studio, and I hope to see you next year in person when we resume the studio tours. Thanks. Have a wonderful day.